So I'm going to try to explain this as best as I can here. I have a Raspberry Pi 4, which is going to do all the emulation for my uh, my arcade cabinet that I'm building. And then we have this Raspberry Pi Pico here, which is a microcontroller that will send signals to this relay board, which will then power on everything, which there will be more stuff hooked up to it once it's in the cabinet. There will be a whole strip of lights and everything. But as of right now, we just have this one outlet switched on and off just so that the Raspberry Pi can shut on and off whenever you flip this toggle switch because there will be one switch to turn on and off the whole arcade machine. So... Let's, uh, Dustin, can you come help me out here? <laughs> I was just going to sit there and watch you struggle, yeah. but yeah. You flip the switch, and we did a satisfying, wait for it. And then the Raspberry Pi will boot up. And on the shutdown... We'll have this final relay right here delayed because it takes an extra few seconds for the Raspberry Pi to safely shut down. Because if you just cut power to it, it'll corrupt files and stuff. And so we'll let this thing boot up real quick. The, um, and then we'll do the shutdown process. The Raspberry Pi is actually running a Python script and it looks for a voltage on one of the pins. Yeah. which the Pico sends. So when the Pico shuts everything down, it sends a shutdown command to the Raspberry Pi 4, which then shuts down, and then it turns off its power. Yeah. So he's going to flip the switch. That last relay goes. It runs it'll, the script. It'll run the script. And then you wait for the activity light to stop flashing. And then, it's and then it'll shut the relay off. So everything is working great. Now time to build a cabinet. <laughs>